Reed Wiseman will be EV1. He'll be the one with the red stripes coming out of the airlock first. He'll be followed by uh, Barry Butch Wilmore as uh, EV2. They'll hand out the spare sequential shunt unit in an orbital replacement uh, unit bag. Reed will assist Butch in translation up the CETA spur. Butch will start out first along phase one of the starboard truss. He'll drop a green hook from his safety tether bundle. Meanwhile, Reed will climb up the crew and equipment translation aid, or CETA cart. He'll transfer his crew lock bag with his tools in it onto an articulating portable foot restraint, or APFR. He'll release that bundle, and he'll stow it on his body restraint tether, or BRT. Reed will join Butch along the starboard face one truss, or he'll drop his green hook, and that allows them to go farther out on the truss. Butch and Reed will continue translating uh, starboard across the solar ray alpha rotary joint out to the 3A solar array. Butch will stow the ORU bag holding the spare SSU on the S5 truss. Reed will join Butch and install the APFR with the crew lock bag in a worksite interface or WIF socket. He'll remove the crew lock bag with the tools and stow it at the worksite. Reed will ingress the APFR in preparation for the SSU replacement task. Uh, during the day pass prior to the eclipse, he'll install a handling aid called a scoop on the failed SSU, and he'll loosen the bolt in preparation for driving it all the way out. In eclipse, he'll remove the, the failed unit, and Butch will prepare the replacement unit, hand it over to Reed, Reed will present the electrical connector side of the SSU to Butch to inspect for uh, debris, damage, bent pins, or things that could prevent it from being installed. And here's an image of uh, the business side of an SSU. Reed will rotate the SSU into position, and he'll drive the bolt while Butch monitors alignment and motion. Once the SSU is installed, the crew will notify the ground to start testing it. Reed will remove and stow the scoop, and he'll hand Butch the failed SSU to put in the ORU bag. Butch will put the SSU in the, the bag and put it on his BRT. Reed will egress the APFR. He'll put the crew lock bag on the APFR, put them both on his BRT. Reed and Butch will head back inboard, following the, their safety tethers back along the path they came out. They'll stop along the way to pick up the green hooks that they dropped on their way out, and then they'll continue inboard. Reed will stow his APFR, and he'll retrieve the crew lock bag off of it. And Butch will go to the airlock, and he'll stow the failed SSU, and he'll retrieve a small ORU bag. From there, he'll head towards camera port 7, or CP7 as we call it, on the port P1 truss. Once he's there, he'll stow his ORU bag. Meanwhile, uh, Reed will join Butch at CP7, translating a little bit further out, and that'll help deconflict their safety tether routing.
which will temporarily stow his small or U bag on a local handrail. The two of them will move over to release the APFR and tool stanchion, um, and they'll shepherd it inboard. That'll get it out of the way for the permanent multi-purpose module or PMM relocation. Reed and Butch will return to CP7. Reed will remove a crew lock bag from the small ORU bag. Butch will release the bolts on the CP7 camera group. Reed will hand Butch a, a scoop and uh, Butch will install it and he'll remove the camera group and hand the whole thing over to Reed. From there, Reed will temporarily stow the camera group and for later retrieval. Butch and Reed will disconnect and stow three electrical connectors from the stanchion and install a small ORU bag as a handling aid. They'll release the stanchion bolt and Reed will hand the stanchion to Butch to put on his BRT. From there, Butch will head forward on ISS to the zenith aft end of node two, where camera port 11 is located. Butch will install the stanchion at CP11 and remove the ORU bag. Then he'll mate the electrical connectors. Meanwhile, Reed will translate port zenith to camera port 8. He'll release two outer and one center bolt of the wireless video system external transceiver assembly, or WETA, and he'll install a scoop. He'll remove the whole unit and put it on his BRT. And then he'll translate out to Butch at CP11. He'll hand the Weta off to Butch. From there, Reed will retrieve the failed camera group from its uh, temporary stowage location and it'll translate to the airlock. At the airlock, he'll exchange the failed camera group with a replacement unit in a large ORU bag. Reed will translate back to the port truss and up to CP8, where he removed the Weta previously. He'll remove the camera group from the ORU bag. and install it on the camera stanchion. He'll remove the scoop handling aid and drive the attachment bolt. He'll check the alignment of the camera lens cover to ensure that it's square and retrieve his ORU bag and put it on his BRT. During that time, Butch will be installing the Weta on the CP11 stanchion He'll remove the scoop, stow it in the bag, and he'll drive the center and outer bolts. Then he'll connect the electrical connectors and retrieve his ORU bag and put it on his BRT. At this point, both crew members will return to the airlock. They'll stow their bags and ingress 
Butch going in first, followed by Reed. And that will complete USEVA 28.